everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutorial.com. Coming in making a video today. i just um, been going through some of my emails and uh, I can't respond to everything, but I try to respond to some of them. And uh, some of them I get questions of, the, some of the questions I get are over and over again questions or comments I get on YouTube and Twitter and things like that. And uh, um, I was out here doing today, just taking a little bit of a hike and uh, sitting here praying and um, just contemplating some of the things that I get and... Uh, just some of the things we have to do, we're working on right now. And so, um, one of the questions I get constantly is Romans 14. Uh, I got a comment just the other day on an email, and uh, on YouTube, and I got a, I got an email. And so I wanted to address this. Uh, it's Romans 14, 5. Let every man esteemeth, um, let no man esteemeth one day above another. Uh, let him be fully persuaded in his own mind. Uh, Romans 14, 5. And so, you look at that verse... And this is a verse that's commonly used in Christianity today, um, and even when I was in the church in Christianity, uh, to say that, hey, any day can be used as a day of rest. Any day can be used as the Sabbath. And when you confront someone in especially Protestant Christianity about the Sabbath and how the Sabbath was changed and how we should worship, or not worship, but really rest on the Sabbath, the seventh day, which would be Saturday, uh, they use this verse to say, no, we can do any day we want because we can be persuaded in our own mind what day that we need to rest on, what day we need to worship on, and that's the day uh, that we're going to use that Christianity has chosen. Uh, <laughs> and really, they use this verse, that's their, their cherry-picked verse uh, to confront this issue. Well, um, I have said over and over again, and you know, some people, when they get the same question over and over again, or they get the same topic over and over again, they, they tend to get angry or uh, uh, upset or frustrated. I, I can't get frustrated, people, because the question I get over and over again about Romans 14 or, or the, the, the cherry-picked verse that is thrown at me, uh, that is Romans 14.5, um, is always coming from different people who've never heard this perspective before. And so it's always good to be patient with people when they give this uh, perspective to you over and over again, they just don't see it because I didn't see it. Um, I didn't. I didn't know Romans fourteen five had nothing to do with the Sabbath uh, until someone pointed it, pointed it out to me and showed me. And so, um, listen, Romans fourteen five. Read the first six chapters. I mean, we're talking about the fifth. I'm sorry, the first six verses. The, fir the we're talking about the fifth verse here. Romans fourteen five. Uh, Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Let, one man esteems one day above another. Uh, guys, we have to look at the verse in context. The verses before verse 5 and the verses after verse 5 are talking about eating. Count how many times the word eat or eateth is used uh, in that first six verses of that chapter. If you're using a King James Bible, the word eat is used about ten times. If you're using one of the new modern uh, translations, I call it the nearly inspired versions, uh, those versions, are you can count the word eat about six times. Obviously, the context here is eating. And so what is it talking about? Let one man uh, steams one day above another. Let every man be persuaded in his own. What, what is that talking about? It's talking about fasting because back in that day, there was a huge debate on what day was better to fast on. Uh, you fast on the, Some people fast on these days. Some people fast on these days. And earlier on in Luke, I think it's even mentioned about John the Baptist, um, people ask uh, uh, Yeshua, Jesus, hey, why are you uh, fasting? On, why, are, why are you fasting when John the Baptist followers are fasting, but your disciples are not fasting? Uh, people were fasting on certain days. I think that was Luke 4 or Luke 5 that that's talked about. But if, if, if there's a debate going on on this day is better to fast, well, no, no, we say this day is better to fast. We should fast on these days. Well, here Paul is addressing the issue. Let, let Be persuaded in your own mind. There's nothing in the Torah. There's nothing in God's law that says you should fast on a certain day save one, and that being uh, the day of uh, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, it says, it's pretty clear in Isaiah uh, 58, that there is a fast that goes on uh, for Yom Kippur, uh, the day that we are to aff afflict our souls. Um, Isaiah 58 is pretty clear on that, and uh, as well as other um, uh, verses in the Bible. But people could fast anytime they wanted to. 
Paul's just saying, hey, listen, fast. If you if you want to fast on this day, fast on this day. If you want to fast on that day, fast on that day. It has nothing to do with the Sabbath. Yet over and over again, Christianity is going to use uh, Romans 14.5 to say that uh, we can rest any day. We can have our Sabbath be any day. Well, first off, the word Sabbath is not used anywhere, anywhere in the entire book of Romans, much less Romans 14. So the subject here is not the Sabbath. The subject here, by just counting the number of times the word eat is used, uh, is of talking about fasting. This is talking about fasting. Now read Romans 14, 5. In fact, read ver, uh, Romans 14, verse 1 through 6, uh, with the context of it being fasting, and Romans, and that those verses now make a whole lot more sense. Uh, so if you're going to give me that question, Romans 4, we can... We can have the Sabbath any day we want. We can worship on Sunday. We can rest on Sunday. Uh, Well, no. The Sabbath is the seventh day. Uh, The seventh day has always been Saturday. Our, uh, in our current calendar, uh, in modern times, it is Saturday. Uh, That is Friday night uh, sundown to Saturday night sundown. That is when the Sabbath is. And so uh, I just would encourage you to do the research on history and see when the Sabbath was switched, who switched it, do some research on that. Google is your friend. Go Google that and see, you know, when the Sabbath was switched from Saturday to Sunday and why it was switched. In fact, even the Catholic Church today uh, freely admits that uh, the Sabbath was switched, that they switched it, the Roman Catholic Church. Um, uh, go, go do some research on that. And then ask yourself, hey, you know, where does it say in Exodus chapter 20 that we should remember to keep the Sabbath, to keep it holy, to not do any work? And yet we have people who go to church on Sundays uh, thinking that that's their Sabbath. And then they go out to dinner and they, they pay somebody to work for them. They pay somebody to serve them lunch or to work for them. And to or they do work on the Sabbath instead of resting and, and not uh, bringing burdens into their household. Uh, you know, it, it's very clear. God knows his people by those who keep the Sabbath. And so if you're not keeping the Sabbath, if you, if you disregard it or you're going to explain it away just because you're version of Christianity says that, hey, we can choose any day we want. Uh, that's not what Scripture says. And if you're going to use Romans 14.5 to argue your point, you're just cherry-picking a verse that has absolutely nothing to do with the Sabbath whatsoever. That's just the facts. Anyway, I, I wanted to address that because I keep getting that over and over again. And uh, if now I've made a video on Romans 14.5. There's lots of blog posts on my website newtutorial.com that deal with Romans 14.5, uh, especially the Romans 14 goose egg. You can look that up on my website. Uh, but I just wanted to address that because it comes up a lot. And uh, I know it's frustrating. Um, I, I totally believe that too for a long time. And uh, well, now you know. All right, that's it. Love you guys. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.